Good afternoon, this is Shaman Oracle reading and today I like to finish up the Divine Feminine cards and we continue with Scorpio and Scorpio got a Divine Feminine card, Rita of Kaskia. Rita is the patroness of impossible causes and she is a Roman Catholic saint and to her are various miracles attributed. Her life demonstrates the power of prayer to shift even what appears to be an impossible cause. She was born Margarita Lotti in 1381 in Italy to noble parents. She is associated with bees because as a child it is said that they swarmed her but they never stung her. And bees are also symbolic of Mary and of the diligent work that must be done to gather honey or the immortal sweetness of Christ's love. Although Rita wanted to enter a covenant, she was forced to marry Paolo Mancini and had her first child at age 12. Her husband was a wealthy nobleman who had many enemies in Kaskia. Rita endured abuse and infidelities, but through prayer and kindness, she converted her husband finally to Catholicism. He then renounced the family feud known as La Vendetta. Even though Paolo had become a new man, a member of the feuding family murdered him for his previous acts. Rita's two sons wanted to avenge their father's death, but before they could do that, both died of sickness. After the death of her husband and sons, Rita wanted to enter the monastery of St. Mary Magdalene in Kaskia. She was given the condition that her family had to reconcile with the family that had killed her husband before she could gain entrance in that holy place. Rita prayed to her patron saints John the Baptist, Augustine of Hippo and Nicholas of Tolentino to assist her in creating peace between the two rival families. The Bourbonic plague was ravaging Italy at the time and happened to take several members of both families. This was enough hardship that they finally agreed to end the family feud. Rita entered the St. Mary Magdalene Monastery at the age of 36. Catholic legend says that she was transported into the monastery by her three patron saints via levitation. And legend also relates that while she was meditating on Christ at age 60, a ray of light pierced her between the eyes. The stigmata remained there until her death of tuberculosis in the monastery in 1457. Despite popular belief, St. Rita is not about suffering or martyrdom. She is more about the miracles that happen when we choose to be steadfast about something or someone. This does not mean remaining in a situation that is harmful to us. It means knowing that we can believe anything is possible and that everyone is ultimately forgivable. Because forgiveness is not about someone else, it is about freeing ourselves. We might have to draw fierce boundaries and possibly 
never see this person again. But we can pray from any distance that it too might be transformed. That a love stronger and greater than our love can help them and offer them a new life. Saint Rita is asking us to never give up on what we want for ourselves. And she is suggesting that a path to what we decide is in our belief that it is still possible. We might not know how and when things will align for us, but we can participate in a deep prayer that at some point what we most desire will arrive and come true. So, St. Rita gives us strength to believe. Say this, my prayers create powerful channels of possibility. Rita of Kaskia is said to have loved roses and figs. So maybe you too like figs and when you eat a fig bar, then think of her. Okay, that was for Scorpio. Thank you for being here, Scorpio. I hope you enjoyed it somewhat and I wish you a wonderful Monday. Goodbye.